English Language Academy. Practice makes perfect. Listen and practice. Mrs. Stevens lived in a small village, and she had five children. She always had a lot of work. The children went to different schools, and Mrs. Stevens took them there in the morning in her car. Then she bought food at the village shop, and then she went home and cleaned the house, washed the clothes, and made cakes or other things. In the afternoon, she drove back to the children's schools and brought them home, and then she cooked their evening meal. Every evening she was very tired. One morning, she was in the village shop, and she saw a small notice there. It said. I do cleaning for one pound fifty an hour. Telephone Miss Joan Brown, seven five o eight. Mrs. Stevens looked around the shop. Nobody's looking, she said. That's good. Then she took her pen out of her bag, and wrote under the notice. I do cleaning for nothing. Don't telephone me. Listen and practice. Vitamin B one is found in whole wheat, fish, peanuts, beans, and meat. Vitamin B one. Helps the body maintain healthy nerve and muscle function. Vitamin B one can also help the heart work properly. Vitamin E is found in corn, nuts, seeds, olives, and spinach. Vitamin E helps the body maintain healthy skin. It also helps lower cholesterol, prevent aging. And fight diabetes. Vitamin C is found in many fresh fruits like oranges, lemons, limes, grapefruits, and mangoes. Vitamin C helps enhance the body's ability to fight infection. It can also help protect the body from getting cancer. Vitamin B12. Is found in shellfish, meats, eggs, liver, and milk. Vitamin B12 helps the body maintain healthy brain and nerve function. It also helps the body have plenty of energy. Listen and practice. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our seminar entitled "Overcoming Weaknesses." For better or for worse, all of us were born with strengths and weaknesses. That is what makes us each special. The problem is our weaknesses can often get in the way of things we want. That is why I want to talk about ways to overcome weaknesses. Once you learn to overcome your weaknesses, you will be a more successful person. Now, the first step is to identify your weaknesses. The easiest way to do this is to take a personality test. You can easily find one online. Second, decide which weaknesses you really need to improve. Nobody needs to be good at everything, so if you can focus on the skills you need to improve, it will be a better use of your time. Third. Make a plan on how you will improve your weaknesses. If you have trouble making friends, for example, make a plan to talk to five new people every week. Making a plan will guarantee you take action.
Listen and practice. A lawyer is someone who is an expert of the law and represents people in court. Lawyers need to be good at dealing with people and be rational thinkers. Bill Clinton was a famous lawyer who went on to become President of the United States. A computer programmer is someone who writes computer programs and tests them. Computer programmers need to be creative and logical. Jerry Young is a famous computer programmer who helped start the popular internet search site Yahoo.com. Listen and practice. A medical doctor is someone who works to help sick people feel better. Doctors need to be patient, sympathetic, and be able to remember a lot of information. Christian Barnard was a famous doctor who performed the world's first heart transplant. A television writer is someone who writes the words that characters say on TV. Television writers need to be creative, funny, and good at working under pressure. David Cohen is a famous TV writer who wrote for one of the most successful TV cartoons of all time, The Simpsons. Listen and practice. I get up at 5.15 every morning and go running. Then, after I have a shower and a quick breakfast, I take the subway to work. I usually do some work on the subway. I get to work at 7 in the morning, and I usually work until 8 at night. After I get home, I have dinner. Then I read the newspaper before bed. I usually go to bed about 11 o'clock. Listen and practice. I enjoy reading. I read a lot of books and I love going to the library. My dad likes outdoor things. He's really into sports and swimming. And he always tells me I should get more interested in sports. But mom tells me that reading is the best way to learn. She always gives me books that she's been reading. Listen and practice. The Age of Adulthood In the United States, 16, 18, and 21 are significant ages in a person's life. A person can do new things at each age to show that he or she is no longer a child. These are all part of the transition to adulthood. After turning 16 in the United States, a person can be employed, get a driver's license, and leave home. Many high school students learn to drive and get part-time jobs soon after celebrating their 16th birthday. At 18, people in the United States can vote in government elections and join the military, but they are prohibited from going into nightclubs, buying alcohol like beer or wine, or gambling until they are 21. In many Latin American countries, a young woman's 15th birthday is important. At this age, she is no longer considered to be a girl, but a woman. To mark this special day, families with 15-year-old daughters have a celebration called a quinceañera. The day begins with a young woman and her family going to church. Later, 
there is a party to which many guests are invited. In Japan, boys and girls are considered to be adults at the age of 20. At this age, they are allowed to vote and drink alcohol. The second Monday in January is a national holiday called Coming of Age Day. On this day, 20 year olds celebrate by first going to a shrine with their families. Later, they listen to speeches given by city and school leaders. After that, many celebrate with family and friends late into the night. In many countries, celebrations do not stop at adulthood. People like to celebrate what they consider to be important ages. Such as their 50th or 60th birthdays, or significant events such as the birth of their first child or their retirement.